Welcome to Peds Doc Talk TV. I'm Dr. Mona, a board certified pediatrician and mom. And this is part two of my videos on this channel discussing the bottle to cup transition and a how to. Make sure you watch this video here on what cups to use and how to teach them the skill. Remember, transitioning them to a cup will only work once we know they are able to use the cup. So our first order of business is to make sure they have the skills to do this. A common question I get asked is how to do this with also transitioning them to cow's milk and moving them off the bottle. If you are breastfeeding, remember you don't need to use cow's milk. If you are breastfeeding, you can continue breastfeeding and introduce the cup for water with meals or for water on the go or for pumped milk if you are pumping. If breastfeeding, I still think that cup drinking is a really important skill that they should learn or be introduced before 18 months. So do attempt to practice this with them. If your family doesn't drink cow's milk, you can do an alternative as indicated in this video on my channel. Make sure to choose a nutritionally equivalent milk. My favorites are soy or pea if you're not doing cow's milk. So there is not a right or wrong way to do this. Some families will go cold turkey, all cow's milk in a cup and be done with it. Some want to transition to cow's milk and then to the cup, and others will put formula or pumped milk in the cup and then transition to cow's milk. I personally like option number two, where we transition them to the milk first in the bottle, since that drinking medium, the bottle, is familiar to them. And then once they've mastered drinking that out of a bottle, we transition them to the cup. You could do both simultaneously, but this depends on your parental preference and their temperament. For tips on transitioning them to milk in a bottle to get them used to that, watch this video at 8 minutes and 23 seconds for more. Now, when you know your child is capable of using a straw cup, as in they have the motor ability to do it and they are consistent in being able to suck up liquid during your practice, you now have to transition them off the bottle and to the cup. Remember, they have gotten used to the bottle, so transitioning may not be smooth but they are learning a new skill and there's nothing to fear. You know they know how to do it, so it's time to transition them and understand that when they have the skill and are fighting back, it's because of their lack of wanting to do it and not the inability to do it, which is so important to remember. If a child is unable to do a skill, then we have to work with them on the skill. But if we know that they can drink out of the cup, we know they have the skill and are capable of weaning. I want to remind you of a very important concept in feeding solids that applies here you are deciding when and what they eat or drink in the case of introducing a cup. When transitioning, they may refuse and this is okay, but a schedule is important and can really help you. So just say your 14 month old is receiving four bottles a day, one when they wake up, one mid morning, one after their nap and one before bed. And they are also getting three meals. Like your meals, you have a meal and liquid schedule. If your baby has an easy breezy temperament where they adjust quickly, you can cold turkey switch all bottles to cups. So now they are receiving everything in cups and not bottles. A more gradual method would be to one, focus on one bottle at a time. I prefer this method for most kids as they have gotten so attached to their bottle and this eases them into it. Focus on one bottle at a time, starting with one of the middle of the day feedings by offering their liquid, so formula or the mixture of cow's milk and formula or breast milk in a cup instead of the bottle. Once they have consistently drunk out of the cup for that feeding, move to the next bottle and then the next. I like to aim for the middle of the day feeding, so afternoon would be an example followed by the mid-morning feed, followed by the night feed, and then followed by the morning feed. I like this one bottle at a time weaning method because if they refuse that cup at that time, you have other bottles and meals waiting at the scheduled time. I like to transition the middle day feedings first versus the morning or evening ones because those have more attachment value, so it can be harder to wean. Taking away the morning bottle when they're ravenous after a night of not eating or drinking or the evening one, that can be part of their bedtime routine and it can be much harder than doing the other ones first. You can move through the transition as fast as you want. We did this gradual method and moved our son to a straw cup of milk by 13 months over a course of five days. I have to be clear here, they may likely refuse to drink out of the cup because they want the bottle. Please remember, number one, they are capable of drinking out of the straw cup. You know they can suck that liquid, right? You looked at the other video, you practice that. So now it's important to be consistent. When you're being consistent, you are offering the milk in a cup they know how to use. Their descent is preference, but with consistency and verbal reassurance, they will learn that they can do this. So you focus on that one bottle at a time, and now in place of the bottle, they're getting a cup. If they cry, you would verbally reassure them and say, I see you're frustrated, but your milk is right here if you want it. You point to the cup. 
If they do not drink it, do not offer the bottle during this time. Remind them that the next meal or snack or bottle is coming when it's time on your schedule. Eventually, they will take the cup because they know that's how they're going to get the milk. Once that happens, focus on the next feeding and then the next. Many parents refuse to transition because their child likes the bottle. But please remember that they are capable of this transition and it's a skill that you have to teach them. You're not harming them by doing this transition and you're only benefiting their dental health and speech development. So please be patient and consistent. The consistency is key. And that's why I like focusing on that one bottle at a time in case you don't want to go cold turkey. It's okay if they don't take it. You know that you have a meal schedule and a milk schedule coming, so you'll offer things when the next time it's being served. With this routine and expectation, they will realize that they have to do it if they want the milk. If you cave back and give them the bottle, they won't have the consistency that causes change. The reason this works is milk is a bonus at this age. Eating is more important, so the refusal of one milk session a day will be negligible but I promise they will get there if they want it. And remember to watch my video on this channel about introduction to cow's milk for more information. So as a summary, please be patient. Be very consistent. Focus on one bottle at a time if you don't want to go cold turkey. If they don't like it, verbally reassure them and redirect them if they're upset. Play, go outside, give them cuddles. If they are upset at bedtime, Focus on your sleep comfort of choice or sleep training method of choice to reassure them. And also make sure to join my new mom survival guide if you need support and resources for baby's first year and beyond. I'm curious what has been helpful for you in transitioning your baby from the bottle to a cup. Comment below. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up sign, comment below and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you next time.